Hi, I'm Jody Collier with WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. I'm here today at Lincoln Electric Welding School. I'm going to be talking to you a little bit today about high-speed TIG pulse using a Invertec V11T. And the reason we're using this machine is because it has the uh, capability of doing a high-speed pulse, whereas a lot of conventional transform machines will only go up to a certain uh, pulse rate. Before we get started on the, the little pulse job here, we're doing some chromoly thin wall tubing. We'll talk to you a little bit about safety. Uh, basically, you boil safety down into three areas. You've got to protect your eyes, your lungs, and your skin. So you can see I've got eye protection and a welding helmet. And for skin, I've got my skin covered with gloves. And the lungs, we've got ventilation here. So we're set on safety. Now, what I do want to talk about on the pulse rates is basically a good place to start for high-speed pulse welding. And I call it the rule of 33. So I use 33 pulses per second. 33 on the background current and 33 percent on time and that's pretty easy to remember and it works really well for applications like thin wall chromoly tubing I'm talking like down into the 20 thousandths range because what it does it flutters the puddle just a little bit it prevents the heat from wandering out just gives you an extra second to add filler if a corner starts to melt away so with that said I'm gonna weld this little uh, fish mouth joint here now we're using a uh, small air-cooled number nine torch here with a 332nd seriated electrode that's sharpened to a needle point and that's going to work out real well for us and I'm using 1 16th diameter E70S2 rod. Now, there are some some other uh, choices for welding 4130 chromoly tubing but if you're practicing this is about as good as any. And you might notice a little flickering of the light 33 pulses a second is fast enough that it's not annoying to your eyes but slow enough to actually have an effect on the, uh, on the outcome and the heat input. Thin wall chrome molly tubing is used a lot in motorsports for race cars, but it's also used a lot in, in things like bicycles, recumbent bicycles, just, just anything because it's, it's got a high strength to weight ratio. It's really strong. You can use really thin wall tubing and, and get the strength you need. But the problem with that is you're always going to have a little gap somewhere. No matter how hard you try, you're going to have a little gap. And this 33 pulses a second with these background settings and everything just gives you that little edge to help you fill in a gap and keep that gap from turning into a hole. If you'd like to learn more about the Lincoln Invertec V311T, Go to lincolnelectric.com.